Hey everyone, Scott Moore from Galaxy Comics in Saginaw, Michigan with another big old CGC unboxing video. Uh, today I've got two, three, four, five, five boxes. Uh, some got 20, one has 25 books in it, one has eight books, one has five books, I don't know. Uh, it's mostly modern stuff, but I think there's a little bit of older stuff in here. Uh, there's even a CBCS book in here. So I guess, uh, I guess we'll just get to it and start cracking these open. Uh, I'm using an actual real camera today and not my cell phone, so I got a 64 gig card in there so I could talk for a long time. I think I got about four hours worth of uh, video on there. I don't think it'll take four hours. You never know. Most of the stuff is going to be uh, customer books. And a lot of it, I think, some of it anyway, is for the guy, if you watched a couple videos ago, I got the box with like the 25 New Mutant 98s. Uh, that guy, he sent in some other stuff, and some of it's kind of interesting, but we'll just see. We'll just kind of get to it. I got a lot of boxes to open here. So we got a Nova. Got to get used to this new camera here. Nova number one, 9.4, nice near mint Nova one. That's pretty cool. Got a killing joke. Number, well, no number, 9.6. And also, a killing joke, 9.6. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this camera because the screen is backwards, reversed, whatever. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think these are all for the same guy. I hope so. No, I'm pretty sure. We got a uh, Iron Fist number one, 9.2. That's pretty nice. Got an Iron Fist number one, 9.0. That's pretty nice. Uh, these there should be a bunch of. Oh, that did come back nice. This book you do not see a whole, whole lot. The Amazing Spider-Man number 36. Uh, it's the 9-11 story, so it's just got that pure black cover. 9.8. And if I remember right, he sent in like seven of them. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so basically, yeah. And then here's two more. To get the glare off. But that amazing, you can see the camera and everything right in there. Amazing 36 9.8. He sent in seven copies, seven 9.8s. That's pretty cool. I was thinking at least one or two might have had a ding on it, but I don't know what they go for, but he's got seven really nice books. Oh, that's nice. All kinds of nice stuff. None of it for me. Star Wars, 1977, 9.0. That's pretty good. Not as good as the 9.4. There we go. What we got? Nice near mint. Star Wars number one. <clears throat> if that's not good enough, 9.6. Star Wars number one. Nine point six, Star Wars number one. So this is what happens, I think, when you sit on these books for forever. I mean, who knows how long that they, they've had them? Man, just nice, nice books. Another Nova number one, nine point four. Nova one number one. 9.6. I don't see a 9.8. Uh, maybe it's 87. First cable, of course. 9.4 near mint. And a 9.8 near mint, mint. Minty mint. This is a book I used to have. This one's not mine. I used to have this a long, long time ago. 
It's a uh, Platinum Spider-Man number one. 9.0 because I think it's got a couple little dings and creases. Well, obviously it's got some dings and creases, and I don't know how well that cardstock cover presses out. It's got a nice crease right there. But this was uh, one of the first that I know of, one of the first like one per store variants. It was kind of a, a thank you to retailers for ordering like three million copies of Spider-Man number one when that came out. So that came out in 1990, and it was a one per store variant, and I think the print run was like 10 million, not 10 million, huh, 10,000 copies. The book sold 3 million. So the print run was like 10,000 copies because there was a lot more stores back then than now. Nowadays you do a, you do a one, point store, one per store variant, and you end up printing like 2,500 copies. Venom Leaf Protector number one. Gold variant, 9.2. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was like a one per store also. But I don't know how many how many they made of that one. Probably a lot. Avengers Annual, 10. First Rogue, 9.6. I think my camera's crooked. Looks a little crooked. Uh, da, da, da. Avengers 196, First Taskmaster. Only a six, but this book is heating up a lot right now. So I think even a six is okay. It's fine, you know, fine condition. It's fine book, it's fine. That's First Taskmaster, First Full Taskmaster. This is one of these books I talked about a little bit in the last video that I don't know why it is as expensive as it is. But it's Wonder Woman 184. It's Adam Hughes cover. I mean, it's a cool cover and everything, don't get me wrong. I don't know why this book is hundreds of dollars in 9.8. I mean, it came out in 2002. I know the print runs were lower back then. I mean, just there wasn't, you know, the, all the print runs across the board were down a little bit, but you know, these are just the amazing spider Yeah, that's an expensive book. And I'm glad you got a 9.8. That's really cool. Uh, jump into this box next. This box got a little, little crunchy on the top. I've never seen a box like this from CGC before. It's kind of a, it's kind of an odd shape. You know, for a little smaller. It's like a half box or whatever. I don't normally send in less than 25 books at a time, which is why. So this must be like a 10 box, a 10 book box, because there's eight books in here. See, and this is why we send in stuff on different invoices. Because one, one is for one guy and one's for the other. And I have them all broken down when I send them in. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300. 7.0. Amazing Spider-Man number 300. 9.4. Nice near mint. That book is still doing okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Somebody's happy with that. Oh, uh, we got Joker number one. A 9.6, not a 9.8. I couldn't afford it if it was. These aren't mine. These are for a, a guy. And if it came back a 9.8, I wouldn't be able to buy it from him anyways. But still, the one I got back last time what was it a 9.4, I think. So another 9.6. Uh, Avenging Spider-Man number nine, hot book, 9.8. First Carol Danvers is Captain Marvel. Wonder Woman 184. 9.6. Slightly not as good. These are, came back about what I expected. These are really cool. Uh, hmm. That's surprising. Albedo number 2. 7.5. I knew these books were nice. They had some creases on the you know spine and some wrinkles and stuff, but you know pressing does miracles these days. 
They're autographed and sketched on the inside on the front page by Stan Sakai, but it's still got a blue label. It just says, uh, name written on first page in pen. First appearance of Yusagi Yojimbo. So, really cool book. Really hard to find. I think the print run was like 2,000 copies, and it was never reprinted. Uh, the story was reprinted in Command Review, which reprinted some of the Albedo stuff. But, like the Turtles number one, you know, they did a second print, third print. First Yusagi Yojimbo, man, an eight. I don't even know what that is. A couple thousand dollars, probably. It looks ridiculous. Ridiculous expensive. But yeah, the print run was only a couple thousand, and they never reprinted it in that format. I mean, granted, Yusagi was Jimbo, he's not as popular as the Turtles, but he's still going. They're still, still making, they got a new series coming out. So this is our... This is our CBCS book. It's in kind of a big, weird, flat box. We got crumpled up white paper and bubble wrap. You know, like, like I just ordered it from some Joe off of eBay and just packed it up with whatever they had laying around. So this one we sent to CBCS because he wanted to get the signature verified. And it's a cool book. Oh, nice. Came back nice. He'd be kind of happy with that since he paid you know, a lot more for it. It's a uh, Lethal Protector 1 Gold Edition. 9.4 uh, red label. So the uh, verified signature Mark Bagley. Let me see. Is it? I don't know. It's in there somewhere. There it is. Mark Bagley signed him right on the forehead. But, you know, since it was probably signed, you know, 20 years ago or whatever. Well, that's kind of nice. Came back in 9.4. Nine, uh, nine, nice near mint. Something a little different. All right. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. Okay. Well, these are the expensive books. These are the expensiver books. You know what? I'm going to save these. I'm not going to do these right this minute. I'm going to do this box first. Save the best for last, maybe. Right. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Okay. How'd she do? She did all right. Okay, good. I'm always a little concerned. Sometimes, you know, we get people. This is the first time that this woman's ever submitted stuff, and. You know, it's a modern and whatever, and you're paying a little bit of money for it. And I just want to, you know, I hate it when they come back like a 9.6. Like the the guy in the last video that sent the Avengers number one, the modern, you know, the volume three or whatever. And it came back a 9.8, and I was, I was happy for him. So we got a Batman Danged. No, Batman Dam number one. Uh, Jim Lee variant. 9.8. And Batman Damned number two, 9.8. These are big. This is the, this is my first magazine size sub, submission. Man, those are big, big holders. Holy smokes! So Batman Damned one and two, both nine eights. Yay! So I don't have to hear anybody complain that you know it only came back at nine four or whatever. So hopefully when she sends in the number three here in a couple weeks or months, uh, that comes back in 90 also. Okay, so here's a, oh, another purple, another purple. Here's some more expensive stuff. So we'll save the, the better ones for last. Here's a Hulk 181, a 
Never have too many Hulk 181s. We got a Daredevil number one. Oh no, purple. Purple, that's a 2.5, so like a good plus. Restoration includes small amount of glue on spine of cover and tear seals to the cover. What's well, Daredevil number one? Didn't think it would come back purple. I mean, didn't, didn't expect that. And then uh, Amazing number five. First Doctor Doom outside of Fantastic Four. Was that a 4.0 VG? Very good. And a Hulk 181, 6.5. It'll find plus there. And his hits just keep on coming. A Hulk 181, 8.0. Nice, very fine copy. Yeah, nice looking book. So if you're keeping track at home, these are more books for the guy that had the, you know, $15,000 worth of New Mutant Deadpools and uh, the X-Men number one. And uh, so now he's got the Albedos, which are probably a couple grand a piece. And he's got the Hulk 181s, which are a few thousand dollars. So some nice books. Uh, that's all I got today. I guess it wasn't super exciting, but there's some neat stuff in there. No good stories other than the Albedo. I got two more boxes out, uh, one's of economy and one's of value, and I mean the turnaround on those is like, you know, like a year, no, probably three or four months. Uh, so they are still scheduled to be graded, hopefully we get them graded in the next month or so and get those back. I got more stuff going out, and when that comes back, uh, you know, we'll do another video. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.